Hello, I'm Fiona Howarth, the Associate Priest at St Peter Mancroft. This is one of a short series of films about different ways of praying. Today I am looking at prayer as lament. The church isn't entirely comfortable with lament. Lectionary readings often exclude verses that express violence or anger. But if we only hear the more palatable parts of the Bible, it can be easy to get the impression that difficult and complex emotions are not something that Christians speak about. Yet the Bible does have a deep resource of texts that speak of trauma and violence, of plague and famine. The Psalms contain a bewildering array of raw human emotion, expressing anger, disbelief, vengeance, shock, grief and complaint. It is this honesty and rawness in the Psalms that enable us to bring before God difficult emotions. The Psalms are authorised scripture, expressing deep faith and trust. Even when God is accused of being distant, uncaring, the Psalm is addressed to God clinging to faith even when faith seems almost impossible to hold on to. A third of the psalms are lament psalms, individual or corporate, and can be used as a model for our own prayers. Speaking about traumatic events, however disjointedly, can be therapeutic. As such, psalms can play a role in helping individuals and communities begin the process of recovering from trauma and at the very least allow the trauma to be spoken of in the context of faith. Psalms of lament generally begin with an address to God, then the lament, which may include recounting the trauma, and end with a request for God's help. Most psalms of lament do move to a statement of faith and trust in God, but some end only with hope of future return to faith and trust. It can be helpful to write your own lament. Begin by addressing God, then tell God what it is that is, it is troubling you and how you feel about it. Don't hold back on describing your emotions. God, as the Psalms remind us, can cope with whatever we throw at God. Then say what you would like God to do in response. Finally, you may want to end with a statement of trust or an expression of future hope. When you have written your psalm, offer it to God out loud. You may feel relieved at having spoken, or better able to cope with what lies ahead. Whatever you feel, know that you stand in a long line of faithful people who have poured out their laments to God, knowing that God hears and holds us, even when we feel lost and alone. Loving God, hear us and hold us in the depths of our anguish and grief, our anger, fear and doubt. Help us to turn to you, for you are our God. Amen.